Hey guys, it's Fee and I am doing my um, HCG diet update. This will be for um, VCLD day 8 through 14, so my second week doing the diet. I'm going to do this really quickly, so here are my results. The um, first two days of the week I did great. I dropped a pound each day, so that was great. Um, the next day I wasn't really able to weigh myself because I was at work. And then when I came home from work, I realized I gained... 1.2 pounds, so a little over a pound, so I gained a pound back. Um, and then after that, I um, had a very slow loss. I think one day was uh, 0.4 pounds, 0 0.2, 0 0.6 pounds. But in total, I've um, lost a total since the, just the beginning of the whole price process. I've lost 10.2 pounds so far. So I have reached my 10, um, 10 pound um, loss. And basically, I only lost 2 pounds really this whole um this second week of the diet so i'm still going to keep going i'm going into week three my last week that i plan on doing the diet and i figured um i'd show you guys how i meal prep for the week because a lot it's a lot of weighing and um being specifics with your um food and the amount of food you eat so i figured i will show you guys how i prep my food so that it's not a big hassle when i'm ready to eat so hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and I will talk with you guys later. Alright guys, I'm going to show you how I meal prep. And um, I will get maybe a week or so worth of food um, out of just all this right here. And what I have, I have some, this is my lean ground beef. Sometimes I get um, extra lean, but I just got the lean today. I don't think I saw the extra lean, but it's 93%. 93% can we get on there? 93% um, lean, 7% fat. And um, this is these are some shrimp that I got. I got a pound of shrimp here, and then these are chick. This is uh, chicken breast strips. Um, it's just easier. It's kind of sort of have to do too much cutting with the chicken. If you get the whole chicken breast, it's a little bit easier to work with the strips. I have that. I have um, some eggs and. The pint of strawberries, which I go through a pint of strawberries maybe in about, I don't know, three days. So I have actually got these are on sale for three for five, so I got a few pints. But um, first thing I'm going to show you is um, obviously I just boil some eggs. I eat three eggs every morning for breakfast. Um, so what I, I have my pot of water boiling right now, and please excuse me if this is not how you make your boil your eggs. But honestly, I just boil and try to boil eggs like two years ago. Um, anyway, I um, eat about I eat three eggs a morning. So what I do, I don't boil the whole carton, but I do enough for three days. So I'm going to put nine eggs in here and boil nine eggs. So that way, my breakfast for three days is already done. Um, sometimes I may alternate, and I might do a protein shake. But, um, how many is that? Sorry, that's six. If I want, I, more than likely, I do, um, the egg whites. So, that is there. And like I said, this is probably enough about a week's worth of breakfast. So, that's actually three days. And I have three more days worth of eggs left in there. So, that's six days. And then, like, one day when I'm out, I'll do my protein shake. All right, I'm going to first work with my ground beef, and we have that here. I'm going to get a bowl and uh, dump it on in there. Let's see. Just, any, I'm going to just mix it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pre-season it so every my burgers are just ready to go. They're going to be pre-seasoned. And... Just put the plain burger meat right in there, and then I like to use I use this season for everything. It's um, Tony's Creole seasoning, so I just sprinkle a bit of that or a lot of that. If you use a lot, it's going to be a little spicy because it has some kick. I use that. I use a little bit of garlic powder. And I'm going to sprinkle a little 
sea salt in there. And then we'll just blend this all together. Mix it up. Mix, mix, mix. That's all pretty mixed pretty well. Now we're going to set this aside for a second. We're going to grab our scale, and this is the scale that I use. Just a little scale like that. And go like that. And what I do, again, I, I line this with um, the serene wrap because I don't want to have to wash it like every single second so I feel I just I line everything so it's gonna line that with the saran wrap just like so let's push that back that way so you can stay in focus and I just measure I do three ounces even though this meal plan um, calls for I can do six ounces of meat I still make my burgers in three ounce portions um, just because it's a little bit easier so it's kind of eyeball it and then that's actually if you can see that's a little bit too much so take a little bit off of there that is three ounces so and since it's already lined in this paper or plastic I'm sorry I basically just kind of form it into a little ball or a patty and we're gonna just wrap it on up just like that so now you have three ounces of meat all ready to go and then just repeat for the rest of the rest of your meat here all right and this is the last one so as you can see, I have, like I said, there are three ounces. So there's one mil, two mils, three mils. And then I always have one left over, which is fine because this one goes with the one from last week's prep that I have. So um, that's what, two, four, six, seven, three ounce patties. And I'm just going to put them in one of these uh, small freezer bags. I usually just stuff them on in or place them on in and I can stick them on in my freezer so as I need them I just take, take out two by two and I can just go ahead and pop them on my griddle and cook them all right so next we're going to work with our shrimp and Basically, guys, it's the same process, except with the shrimp, I don't need that bowl. With the shrimp, I don't put any seasoning on them. So, I got a pound of um, shrimp, and actually has the skin on it. Okay, let's put that. So, all I'm going to do now is, once again, out of the shrimp, so... Do that, and it's usually about eight or nine shrimp that I get on there, so which is pretty good. Alright, touch three ounces there. Last one, and this time I was actually able to get five servings out of, so we got one, two, three, four, five, five servings, and I'm going to do the same thing, put a freezer bag, pop them in the freezer bag, and then I can just take them out and just cross them. Sometimes I will, if I, I will cook 
um, cook enough for like two days. So if I'm going to put burgers on the grill or if I'm going to um, boil some shrimp, I will do enough for two full days, two or two to three days of, um, of pre-cooked food. But I don't cook for the full meal. But even this way, it's really easy just to pop it in some hot water and, and boil these down. All right, and finally, my chicken. What I do, I'm going to basically season it the same way um, that I seasoned my burgers. I'm going to use, sprinkle some of my Tony's seasoning in there. A little garlic seasoning. A little bit of sea salt. And I'm also going to use some um, Mrs. Dash Italian medley just to make it a little bit of fancy. So, and we're just gonna mix that up so that it gets all over all of it. And I've already washed it and um, placed it in the bowl, so the chicken's already been cleaned. And we're going to go back to our scale, just like we've already done. Line it with the clean wrap. And we do this in um, three ounce portions as well. So let's see how many tenders or strips we can get on there. That's a little bit. That's actually almost at three. All right. So the chicken, I was able to get one, two, three, four, five, five, um, three ounce servings out of that. So I just place it inside the freezer bags. That's it. So here's all of my food that I was able to prep. My eggs are finished, and um, I basically have all my meals set, uh, all my meat set for my meals for the next seven days. Alright, so all you'd have to do is um, go ahead and defrost your meat, and um, they're already wrapped. Easy, 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 and oh, and I line my... Um, I line my grill with aluminum so it's easy clean up. Just and uh, so yeah, so your meats are already made and seasoned, soaked in, and just go ahead and just pop them on the grill, just like so. So you're not spending a bunch of time measuring. And these are all our little three ounce burgers right here.